When the light of the world was subdued, our songs came through. A Norton anthology of Native Nations poetry was edited by Joy Harjo with Leanne Howe and Jennifer Elise Furster. Just out in paperback, this is an incredible anthology of Native American writings. It belongs in every poet's library. It belongs in anyone interested in American literature's library. It is an amazing collection of some of our most powerful poets' work over the last hundreds of years. I'm going to read two poems from this book, one by Gerald Visenor, the culture critic, poet, novelist, and educator, who's Anishinaabe, White Earth. The poem is called Seven Woodland Crows. Seven Woodland Crows stayed all winter this year among the white earth trees, down around us on the edge of roads, passing in the eyes of strangers, tribal land wire marked, fox runs under rusting plows, stumps for eagles, white winter savages with brackish blue eyes snaring their limbs on barbed wire, brackish winter blood, seven woodland crows stayed all winter this year, marking the dead, landmen who ran the woodland out of breath. And by Leslie Marmon Silco, uh, the novelist and poet, she's Laguna. This is where mountain lion lay down with deer. I climb the black rock mountain, stepping from day to day silently. I smell the wind for my ancestors, pale blue leaves, crushed wild mountain smell, returning up the gray stone cliff where I descended a thousand years ago, returning to faded black stone where mountain lion lay down with deer. It is better to stay up here, watching wind's reflection in tall yellow flowers. The old ones who remember me are gone. The old songs are all forgotten and the story of my birth how I danced in snow frost moonlight, distant stars to the end of the earth, how I swam away in freezing mountain water, narrow mossy canyon tumbling down out of the mountain, out of deep canyon stone, down the memory spilling out into the world. <laughs>